taking some shots for the gram. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. But I make these earrings and so I wanted to get some cool content shots and I made this jacket for myself, which I really, really love. My husband and I recently moved onto a boat, a 57 foot narrow boat, houseboat, canal boat, call it what you will. I will show you a bit of that later but we had a big downscale from a two bedroom home and so naturally I had a very rude awakening in having to let go of my wardrobe. I've been wanting to start fashion videos for a while and this is the start of that. I am wearing something quite practical that I would normally wear I guess. that on a low budget I can't really afford some of the higher priced more designer fashion items that I want so I am an ex-designer and have some skills and so I just make some things for myself which I kind of love I've just updated the look I guess I like to sort of quite seriously practice my layering. I like to look fully dressed, even if I'm walking in a field or something like that. So I've got the jacket on and then I've just taken off the extra layering. So if it's like a warmer day, then I don't need to take that jacket and I would just put like a lightweight t-shirt, which is, this is kind of exactly what's perfect for spring. And um, I feel super casual. So the laid backness of just essentially a pair of tights and a t-shirt, I don't feel too dressed up. And I've recently gotten into wearing caps. This is an old cheesy one from an old magazine that I got back home in South Africa. I don't even think old South Africa exists anymore. It's really cheap and uh, really bad quality, but I kind of love it and I love utilizing things that are kind of random. I think it makes outfits feel authentic and original. Quite keen on uh, wearing legit footwear to traipse around in. I just don't see myself ever wearing very practical, say, actual hiking boots made for hiking or trail running or anything like that because I'm not sporty in that regard and all my exercise comes from just leisurely walks and I feel like I can do that as long as I've got a substantial heel, something slightly cushioned. It doesn't necessarily have to be a hiking boot or a walking shoe or anything like that. And uh, you can still feel fashion and be outdoorsy. Time to head back. I'm quite cold. So much for springtime, guys. <sighs> Lost, left the cap behind that I was so lovingly speaking about. Back to the boat. Definitely need a cup of coffee, and then I'll fill you in on some future plans. I am home. We are on board the boat like to see more of the boat where we live I'll link the YouTube channel that I have with my husband Paul and we sort of video our boat life if you will uh, it's quite fun if you're into following couples and sort of lifestyle channels uh, yeah get some layers off it's been pretty warm lately but today the day I decided to film it is chilly I like to make sure that say I'm going out for a walk or something and I have an outfit like this on that it's easily transitional to comfy home wear so I can just yank off the layers. I'm wearing a pair of tights. It's not very glamorous but it works and I can go sit and work or do whatever and feel comfortable. So just gonna throw on an old jumper and then be set. Today's little vid was, I guess, just inspired by the outfit that I was wearing for the content that I'm trying. Let's just do this. That looks okay. 
for the content that I'm trying to make for my Instagram page where I sell jewelry and accessories that I make and I thought I will extend it and start doing some YouTube videos and give you a bit of behind the scenes or inspiration behind the outfits that I pick and what I wear mostly for myself as well because I get quite lonely uh, and I feel quite isolated on the boat so it's quite cool just to put something together where I have the opportunity to talk about fashion because it is my favorite thing so you can check out my Instagram page for the stuff I make I'll put all the links you'll be able to find them today's little look was I guess inspired by those classic pictures of Princess Di that have been around for a while that everyone has done some sort of uh, variation on and I love that so my hot tip that I do for myself is to pick out pictures be it anyone that inspires me and then just use that and try and use my own wardrobe everything that I already have and get as near to it as possible it prevents me from feeling like I have to buy anything new and it never ends up looking exactly the same which is totally perfect it just gives you a good starting point to play around and shop your own wardrobe that's it for this first little video I hope you enjoyed more to come Ooh.